Anything's easy if you look in hindsight, you know. So I was actually thinking about this the other day, you know. When we're in the, the now, like right now, we think to ourselves, like I was thinking about it for real estate. Man, you know, real estate prices have gone through the roof. Oh, who can afford to get a house now? But when we look back on this in 10 years' time, we'll think, oh, how good we had it back then. Oh, yeah. you know? So it always seems hard now when you, you're trying to invest in something because, oh, we don't have enough money to invest in something. But when you look back, if you make that investment, you make the sacrifice. When you look back on it in hindsight, it was easier to do it then. You know, So you know, I find that most people either live in the past or in the future. We don't kind of live in the present on what, you know, what's currently happening. So, yeah, you know. I try to get people to get to the truth as soon as possible. Jim Collins talks about in his book, Good to Great, you know, people, if this was a rock and you pick up the rock, there's all these squiggly things. Most people put the rock back down because they don't want to acknowledge that those are the squiggly things. But he says the, the great companies actually pick that rock up and said, okay, let's look at those things because that's where the real value is. And it's getting somebody to have the courage to look at those things because we tend to want to be in denial. We, we, we tend to want to, you know, pretend that everything's okay, you know. And that's why if you look at it, um, and I've done this before and I'll, I'll share a story with you, but we tend to, you know, when we look for advice, we want to open a new business. We'll go to people who support us, you know, which is important. But I think it's also important to go to people who will tell us the truth because, you know, once again, in hindsight, we think to ourselves, man, I wish – you know, somebody had told me, I'll give you a real story that happened to me. So okay. I was still in South Africa and I was going to invest in this coffee shop. So I already owned a, a furniture manufacturing company. So we were going to open a coffee shop where we also had a showroom with furniture and you'd sit in the furniture, the coffee shop and have lounge, you know, because we made contemporary, sure. very upmarket furniture. So it was going to be a showroom and a coffee shop at the same time. And at the time I was coaching um, these three Greek guys who um, – you know, ran very successful different franchise, uh, you know, coffee shops, restaurants, buffets, etc. So, so, so they were an organized crime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> they were laundering. No, no, they were, they, were, they were legit restaurateurs. But the point is this. I went to all my friends and all my friends told me, man, it's a great idea. This concept, you got great idea. Then I went to my client because I thought, oh, you know, he owns 28 different restaurants. Let me ask him. You know, I went to him. He says, you're going to lose money. So do you think I went back to him? What did I do? I stopped going to advice. Why? Because sometimes you, you want to get the answer you want to get, not the truth, you know? Yeah. And what happened a year later, I sold it. I managed to get out, but I didn't make money. I was looked like I was going to lose money, you know? But, uh, you know, I managed to salvage and break even and sell the concept off to somebody else who really wanted to run with it, you know? And they took the... the, the um, the manufacturing piece out of it. But the point is, you know, we tend to not want to hear the truth. People say they want to hear the truth until they hear it. And then like, well, no, I'm actually okay with where I'm at, you know.